Hello, my people. Hello, great beer friends. Hello, great people. Join me today. Hello, people. Great people of Biafra, I want you to join me today. Today is a beautiful day that Chukwu Kikabiyama have made. Thank you, my people, for joining. Thank you, thank you, thank you all. As you are joining, don't endeavor to share the video. Please try to share the video to your people. I still remain the Biafra Shai Don Washineke Mazo Kechuku. I am under commander control of IPOB leadership. Join me, please. Join me, please. As you are joining me, please try to share the video. Invite your friends. Invite anyone that is around you, please. Let us discuss things that matter to our struggle. Let us di discuss things that is going to help us to move forward. We are in the quest of self-determination. And we are not going to go back on this quest of self-determination, my people. We are thanking Chuko Kikabiyama for giving us this today. That I'll be able to be out today, my people. Thank you all. Thank you all. Join me. Join me. Invite your friend. Please share the video. That is what you can do for me to share the video. So that people will hear what I'm saying. Uh, today is another day. And we, I always thank you, Koki Kabiyama. That he, uh, is al always with us. Uh, before I will start, I would like to play um, Biafra National Anthem. So that people can hear us. Let us go. Great people of Biafra, great people of Biafra, good morning, good afternoon, good evening, according to your time zone. I am back again today. I still repeat good morning to you all. As you are listening to me, please try to share the video so that the video will go wide so that people can also join me for today's broadcast. Like as I always tell my people, we are the children of Chukwu Kikabiyama. 
we have come to restore Biafra. And Chukwu Kikabiyama is always with us. That is the reason why we can never retreat, we can never surrender on this quest of self-determination. I want to thank you all for joining me today. Uh, Nebolisa, thank you for joining me. Some people can also write up. Thank you for writing a comment. It doesn't matter how many people are here, but the message we must give out. And I hope that my voice is sounding, uh, is coming out clear. Uh, today I want to be talking about those people that are went to go. They went to bank to steal money. You know, there's a lot of people. There's something that going on in this issue, and uh, some people don't understand what is really going on. Uh, we saw these people with a beer from flag. They went to bank to rob, to damage, to damage our image, for people to say that it's IPOB are doing it. But there's some things that we have to understand. There's some things that we really have to understand. You know, uh, because a lot of people we are thinking that these people they are IPOB, they are Biafrans. Uh, you know, I want to clear it to our people that these people that we we saw. Number one, first and foremost, they are not Biafras. They are not indigenous people. They are not IPOB, talkless of family member. They are not any indigenous person. This thing that we saw was a just a form. They form it. I am not saying that is, there is no that they did not went to bank and stole money or to go there to do the evil. The people went there. But we have to begin to understand and ask ourselves a question. Is those people real, the Biafran people? Are they Biafrans? Are they real people? Because there's something I don't quite understand. Greeting, watch, uh, uh, cheesy, I greet you all too. I greet you too. Uh, there's que some question that we're supposed to be asking ourselves. Do you ever think that IPOB can do such a thing. I saw some people, they were yapping, talking all sort of nonsense. Somebody like Raf was Rike, he was uh, trying to put this allegation on IPOB. He was saying that uh, we have uh, upgraded by robbing a bank. You know, and there is one point that I want to bring out in this issue of robbing a bank. Do you think that an IPOB can go to a bank or some set of people can go to a bank to rob a bank with a Biafran flag? What did these people are reasoning? What is in their mind when they want to go and rob this bank and they use Biafran flag? What is in their mind? Okay, and we also have to understand is it true or they just want to use it to damage the image of some people? Because we all know that if you have an AK 47, if you are, I mean, a group of 30 people, 20 people with sophisticated weapons with AK-47, you can go to bank and rob, and you will go free, isn't it? So let us talk about why these people use a flag. Because we all know that even though we without that flag, those people, if you have enough gone, you will go to the bank and rob and go successful. So why did these people use a flag? What is in their mind what are they thinking what the image they want to damage who are the people that send them to do that it doesn't matter but I'm bringing reality to my people I'm bringing reality to them for them to understand there is people behind all this I cannot just believe that IPOB can rob a bank and they have 
Biafran flag. It make no sense. It make no sense to me. And I am sure that it does not make any sense to anybody. That some group of people can just use. Okay, uh, does it mean that the flag they are using will secure them? Does it mean that flag will make them to go to this mission and be successful? Does it mean that when people see the flag, people will begin to run away from them? What does that flag represent for them to be using that flag? If it's not the something that people are planning to do, imagine, just use your sense and think about all this that I'm saying to my people right now. What is the essence of using a flag to go and rob? What is the essence? What is that you want to prove? Does it want to prove or does it mean that that flag will secure them? Or that does it mean that that flag will protect them? Does it mean that this flag, whenever they get to a bank, the bank will open and they will store the money and go without nobody touching them? Do you think that if one person have that flag and enter that bank, don't you think that they will arrest the person? Do you think, don't you ever think that if it's only two people have a gun and they have almost 10 security in the bank and two people just enter, don't you people think that they will never go scot-free? What is the essence of the flag? That is what I'm asking. Because we have saw Ralph Waswiki. Why I'm out today is because of exactly mostly about Rafa Wazwiki because he is the one that come out and begin now to say that uh, we have upgraded to begin to rob a bank you know i just want people to just use your sense and understand what i'm saying that as you are watching me right now you can form a group if you have what it takes to go to bank you will go there and rob and you will be successful. So why is the essence? Why are you using the flag? Why people are you? You know, I'm just trying to tell my people, those people you see that they went to bank and rob and they have Biafran flag. They are just doing it to damage the image of IPOB. They are doing this thing for interior motive. They are doing this. People send them. People send these people to go and do this. If the bank we are truly robbed, if the bank are truly robbed, that is what the sense I'm bringing. People plan this. It's a game plan. Go and use this flag so that the world will begin to see them as a miscreant so that the world will begin to see them as a criminal go there and rob and fly and just wave the flag does it make a sense that you want so does it mean since we have been seeing all the evil we have been seeing the rob the, the robbing of a bank we have been seeing a lot of things that is happening in that contraption the bank robbery did not start today they have been doing this robbing for years robbery have been going on for years why now why are they using pr from flag to rob that is a question you have to begin to ask yourself what these people really mean what is is in their mind when they use this flag what is their what did they want to bring out by using the flag but i am telling you my people I want you people to understand what I'm saying, that this thing is just a game plan. And as I'm talking to you today, my people, this thing is a real big time game plan. That is why Rafa was wicked. We come out and begin to say all sort of nonsense from his mouth, talking junk, talking like a senseless, saying that we have upgraded. How do you want to, I, I want to assure you people that Ralph was wicked also know those people that went to bank and stole the money. If they ever stole any money or they just want to use this thing as a, you know, as a news 
because we know what we are going through in that contraption. We know what we IPOB, the indigenous people, we know the problem that we are into. We know what they are doing to stop Biafra to come. They can do whatever they want to do. They are working overnight, of, you know, working more than their time to stop Biafra to come. But we are here telling them there is nothing they can do. There is nothing they can do to stop Biafra to come because Biafra must surely come, whether they like it or not, whether they believe it or not. You people should go tell Rafa Wazrike. He should keep on yapping. He should keep on saying whatever he wants to say. He should keep on lamenting. He should keep on whining his mouth. That he shouldn't stop and we can never care. Nothing he can do on this planet Earth we stop Biafra to come, even though he compromised, even though he's there building hotels and hostels, inviting the terrorist people to come to our land. We don't care. He can went on and go and join his masters. We don't care. He can come out every day on the national uh, broadcast, which is the 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 the, the, the full knee BBC. He can come out there every single day and begin to lament and talk all the whole stories the novel that i have already read he can there is no without end we don't care the eastern region governors they can plan whatever they want to plan we don't care because all this thing is a plan work if you don't know that it's a plan work i heard our little mazin namdekano he was saying that those people we must find them believe in me is also very hard to find these people you cannot find them because this is a game plan this is a work of the lucifer this is the work of devil this is the work of the eastern governors this is the work of raf wazurike he is one of those people that plan this it's a game plan you can never see these people you can never find them it's a game plan if not if they did not work with the gov the bank manager to to i mean to make uh, me i'm seeing this thing as a stage even though the money we are pulling out from the bank maybe the money have already been returned the main purpose the main purpose of these people is for them to show that flag that is the purpose that is the reason why i'm asking what is the essence of that flag in bank robbery what flag has to do in bank robbery what flag have to do if it's or if not that they want to say that ipob they are criminals ipob the 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 lack of money ipob they want to form their money by stolen from bank ipob they they are just hard they, they are just making mouth ipob they are nobody this is only what they want to plan and they they want to make this thing for the international community to see that we are real criminal. That is what they want to do. There is no two ways about it. Obi Okafo. Thank you. Thank you, my brother. Obi, Obi, Obi uh, Okafo, uh, for something like that. Thank you, my brother, for joining me today. We're a great man. Thank you. Thank you very much. I want you people to share this video. It doesn't, it doesn't matter. I know that this is early in the morning. I supposed to do. I think uh, yeah. I supposed to do this, this video around um, four o'clock, but uh, this is the time I have time to do it uh, because I have some things to do also. So what you have to do is to share the video so that people will come to see the video later, whenever they finish what they are doing, because at this time around a lot of people are in their working place. A lot of people are busy right now so but it does not matter this is the time i have and um, i think it's the best time also to do this video to explain to our people what is going on the kind of propaganda the kind of evil that our people our own people are planning against their own people they are planning even against their own people that is why they went to bank and stole money they stole the money. They want to say that it's IPOB. 
They want to say that Mazin Namdekano is the one that sent them. They want to say that we are criminal. Those miscreants, they are calling out because they never find a, a sufficient uh, proof to tag us as a terrorist in the world. Yes, in Nigeria, they say they are proscribed people, but the world never proscribed any one of us up to date. We are freely. People are traveling. People are going everywhere they want to go. Our leader is keep on visiting our family members all over the world with anybody stopping him. He's been crossing a lot of borders. Nobody ever stopped him. This is the propaganda they are pushing. They want to tell the world that we are criminals. That is what they are doing. That is exactly what they are planning. But guess what? They can never succeed. They can never succeed in this evil that they are planning against our people. We are IPOB. We are all over the world. We are funding IPOB to restore Biafra. We are not a criminal. We are hardworking people. So why they want to damage our image? Why Rafu Wazurike can be able to come out and uh, Rafu Wazurike have turned to small bobo? I have turned to small but only easy track he will call you we are track and begin to yoke you know i sell things to our people last time when the uh, hope uh, raf was really came out and we are saying that uh, he can never condemn mazen namdekano i saw a lot of people they were doing making a video they were saying that uh, raf was really they were happy about what he said now he have changed the problem is this you know whenever these people need something from the government they are ready to say every good thing about you so that that thing they are waiting for they will receive it you do be afro thank you my brother thank you very much thank you very much my people i also greet you all once again for joining me it wasn't easy we have saw and see what Facebook is doing to every one of us but it does not matter we will keep on preaching we will keep on agitating for Biafra to come because this is the last hope we have Biafra is the last hope Biafra is the miracle that will happen to, to mankind Biafra is the last miracle that will come to this planet Earth after Biafra comes there will be no more any other miracle and we believe that and we are praying to Chukukikabia Matamono Ogwene that he will keep on blessing us and guiding us and lead us to through this temptation that we are we all know that we are in temptation but we shouldn't back up we shouldn't keep on preaching even though whenever you are preaching and you saw one person in your view keep on preaching keep, keep on waxing people are listening sometimes these people are just cutting off all this but people are listening people are hearing people will still hear it okay my people so but the reason why i'm really here today to talk about all this is because i've been you know since the leader of indigenous people of pia from mazin namdekano have said about these criminals that went to bank to stole money I've been, you know, I've been thinking about all this. I've been thinking, you know, saying, what is the motive? What is the motive? What did these people are thinking? What is in their mind? Does it mean that robbery are not been going on in that contraption? Does it mean there, there is no kidnapper? This is also what will happen very, very soon. You will see some kidnappers. They may go and carry Biafran flag. It will happen very, very soon. It will happen. They will carry Biafran flag or any of their route where they will go and bust them because it's a game plan. That is what I want our people to understand. That all these things, even though by me making my own research, by me sitting down quiet and thought about all this, I was, I'm thinking, I'm, in my mind, I have come in conclusion that this is a game plan. I am not sure 100% that this bank were robbed. I am not sure. Even though the bank we are robbed, they we are robbed the bank, it's a full-time game plan. I want people to tell me, 
Tell me the reason why these people have a flag. You want to go and stole money from bank. You want to go and rob the bank. You have all it takes. You have your guns and bullets. You have all your sophisticated weapons. You have your group intact. You have your plan intact. You have inside that I have already give you people the, the, the plan B, how to enter to plan A. If you couldn't work, use this plan B. If the B didn't work, you will use C. And you know that definitely you must get into that bank. Why are you using Biafran flag? Why are you using Biafran flag? That is what I'm asking. And this is the question that we're supposed to be asking Rafa Wazwike. Because why I'm calling Rafa? Rafa Wazwike is an evil man. Rafa Wazwike is an compromised, stupid, and idiocy man. He have already compromised. And uh, this mindset of Rafa Wazwike can never come back. Don't think that tomorrow you will see that. That is the reason why I always tell my people. Don't always jump in conclusion. Don't always be fast to judge. Whenever you see somebody come up and talk about Biafra once, you say because uh, maybe it's an elderly man, maybe because he's an, a pastor, because he have an, a congregation, he have talked about Biafra once, you people will come in conclusion and say, this man is one of us. No. Things never work that way. There is a lot of people are seeing, a lot of people, a lot of people are seeing Biafra as a money-making machine. Money-making machine. And as I'm talking to you today, we have saw our brothers in America. They raised the fund. They have stolen our money. $77,000. And the last one they stole was four thousand something dollars. That some people see Biafra as a business, and they, they you can't take it away from them, because that is their motive. Especially when you join new, or maybe you have any a, a position in where you are. Especially people that are living in America, especially that people have already have that opportunity to meet Mazen Namdekano, and Mazen Namdekano speak to them, and Mazen Namdekano begin to find that these people are wise people. Mazen Namdekano is just a man. He is a man. That is where you can compose yourself as a criminal and talk to him. He will believe that this man is a right person. He's a woman. He don't know your heart. He don't know what you have inside your heart. He just hear what you said. And he like what you said. That this person, he can, he, I can be able to work with him. But he don't know that he's a criminal. Also, the same thing that is happening to Raf Wazurike today. As I'm speaking to you, my people. People are coming and saying, I saw a lot of video they did about Raf Wazurike. Isn't that better that Ralph Wazulike went to BBC? Well, it's better that he condemned Mazen Namdekano. He had been condemning Mazen Namdekano from the day one. So if he come one day to say that Mazen Namdekano, I will not condemn you again. I be, no, he's looking for something. This man is looking for something. And probably I've got what he's looking for. Ralph Wazulike, remember, I want you people to just remember because... I don't care how many people view me, but I know that those people that have viewed me already, please try to share this video. Try to share it. It doesn't matter. I know some people are also in the corner. They don't want to surface themselves. They want to. They don't want to show themselves in the viewer, but they can also share the video. Just share the video. It doesn't matter. Because this thing I'm saying now will make sense to people. Because we are here to break down to simplify things that people don't understand let us we will break it down so people will begin to understand and know you know because what we are trying to do is we are bringing a matter to you people something that have already happened we will present the matter to our people we will say our own opinion and then through our own opinion you will also put your own what you thought in your mind and now come in conclusion and begin to reason which one is the truth and which one is the lie. Not they will just come to us and tell us 
this is how this thing happened. Uh, some people went to bank and stole from the bank and the rob bank with a Biafran flag. And now we are beginning to panic. We IPOB or Mazen Nambekan will begin to panic. No, there is no panic on it. There is no panic. You don't have to panic because it's a game what? It's a game plan. This is a game plan. Very big time game plan. Tell me the reason why they are just, tell me the reason why they want to go and rob. Let me just say, for instance, let us be sincere. Let us be sincere. Let us tell ourselves the truth. For those of you that have that ability to reason, because we said not everybody have ability to reason. And whenever you don't have ability to reason, you are an animal. An animal is better than you because animals do the reason. Go and see pigeon. When they are together, you will see they do reason. If you went out to go and meet a, another, another pigeon, if you come back, believe in me, they, they, they will kill you there. That shows that they also reason. It's only idiots don't reason. Dead person don't reason. They don't reason. Because sometimes we refer them to animal. But sometimes when you come in situation of animal, you know that animal reasons too. They reason. They know who is their couple. They know. They know. Some of them know. Okay, my people. So let us just say, let us, you know, you know, when we are saying things, we don't just say good about ourselves. We don't just say things that will favor us. No, we say things from this angle. We also have to say things in other angle. Let me just say it. Let me just say it. These criminals that went to bank and stole money are IPOB, are ESN. Do you think that these people will carry a flag? It's a question. Just a question I want to ask. Do you think they will carry a flag? Do you think? Let us be sincere. Let us be sincere. If these people are re ESN and they want to go and rob bank, why should they carry a flag? Would they carry a flag? They have the weapons. They have all the need to enter the bank and stole, you know, to take the money and stole the money. Why should they carry a flag? Why should they carry a flag? This is the question that we're supposed to be asking ourselves. This is the question that's supposed to be coming up in our mind. Because I know that a lot of people have been come in conclusion and say, yes, uh, this is IPOB. You know, be only, now only, this is only them carry flag. This is only them they are killing with their flags. This is only people that uh, they always raise their flag. So whatever that happened with their flag is IPOB. How do you think? It's a question that I always ask. If, let's say that these people are IPOB. Let's say that you are one of the ESN. And one of member of ESN plan to go and steal or stole from bank. Will you be uh, you, will you be, uh, can you advise them to carry a flag? Uh, did, did they want to, have you seen a criminal that want to show that he's a criminal? Have you ever seen it before? It's like now, I want to go and steal from the bank. I will begin to write my name and my son's name at the back of my clothes. So that people can easily identify who I am. Do you, my people, let us begin to reason. I just come here today for us to just reason and just think how this thing works. If it's not because people are planning, people just want to use this flag to commit crime and genocide against the innocent people. That is why Rafa Wazuke came out and told us that. Did we know how many head of state that caught him? <laughs> he's telling us do we know how many country have called him um, um, uh, uh, ambassadors that called him Ralph was wicked he said Ralph was wicked said uh, you know you know I'm bringing all this in one by one so that our people will begin to make sense out of this 
don't just listen to this pe person because he know how to speak don't listen to this person because he is in position to speak so that people will listen to him because there are some people they they thought or they, they are thinking that because i am in this position whenever i lie people must listen to me because people see me as an elderly state man that is what exactly raf wazwike is claiming raf wazwike is claiming elderly state man i don't know who gave him that one later again he say he's an ijele ijele that uh, he sworn that nothing we do this nothing we do that that even though mazen nandekano he saw mazen nandekano uh, he will never kill him he will never support Raf was we can have naked Mazen Namdekano. If you people don't know, Raf was we can have kidnapped Mazen Namdekano. Is God so good? Chukwu Kikadiano is in his throne. That is why Mazen Namdekano survived. The picture is out there. Is the man telling you that he cannot harm Mazen Namdekano? That is Raf was we All this thing Raf was we is saying is because Mazen Namdekano is far away from where he is. If this man eventually met meet Mazen, he will kill him. Remember, my people. For for those of you that are just joining the struggle, because we know that a lot of people, there wasn't in the beginning of this struggle, they wasn't know what is really happening on the ground. We are in this struggle. We have been seeing things that is happening. I've been seeing them. Yes. If you people don't know. When Mazen Namdekano was going to court, that was, I think that was three years ago or something like that, or four years ago, when Mazen Namdekano was coming in the courts of Abuja, the heart of the devil, the heart of the Lucifer himself, which is Abuja, we are the dead Bugari, because Bugari have died and gone. We will keep on telling people. Whenever we come out to broadcast, we will tell people that Bugari have died and gone. And there's nothing anyone can do about it because he have died and gone. During the time Mazen Namdekano was coming to court, for his, as they claim, that Mazen Namdekano committed prison and felony, they are bringing Mazen Namdekano to court. Do you people know that Raf Wazwike is the one behind the curtain? Mazen Raf Wazwike is a man behind the curtain that want to come and testify that Mazen Namdekano brought ammunition into Nigeria. Raf Wazwike want to come and testify. Raf Wazwike are coming to testify because Raf Wazwike was thinking that Mazen Namdekano have taken away what he brought. I don't know how Raf Wazwike always think that he's one that brought radio biafra go to listing during 1967 to 1970 the radio that Ma, our internal leader mazi odume Wojuku, the radio that he used to broadcast to people to listen what they call it radio biafra is the radio that he used to broadcast to our people so if rafa wazuke is telling you people he's the one that formed radio biafra no radio biafra have been there go and watch that video you will hear the white man corresponding said that our internal leader Odume Wojuku, okay communicate with his own people through radio biafra he call it by then to radio biafra so i don't know how rafa was wicked will come now and be saying that he's the one that from radio biafra do you people how see how people are lying Raf was Rike is a big time liar. That is why he's building hostel hotels here and there, inviting the Janjawi to come to our land. Raf was Rike. If Raf was Rike also come out today and tell you that uh, I, I support Mazen Namdekano, I support IPOB, don't believe him. Don't you ever believe him. Don't. Because if you try, you are gone. Raf Wazwike said, because I want to bring in out this to our people, for them to begin to understand, then you begin to think 
as a woman, somebody that has that ability, unless you don't have that ability to reason, then you can never think. Then you will be, you will come in conclusion that all this thing they are propagating, all this their concord story are true. But you have to reason and think. If these people are real is ESM, why should they use the flag? Will this flag help them to enter the bank and stole very easy? This is my question. And this is the question you people are supposed to be asking. Will they, let me say, if they took this flag to that bank, will the flag open the door? Does it mean that with this flag, and you see they escaped, you see that nothing happened. Nothing happened to them. You know, it's something that we always have to be thinking. We always have to be asking this question. We don't have to be that so daft that we don't try to reason or understand the difference between capital B and B. Can it be possible? Can it be right? Okay, my people. Are you want to tell me that as you are now, you want to go and kill a person or you want to go and commit atrocity or want to go and commit bad things? You have to write your name at your back for people to know who you are or for them to recognize that it's you. Is it that possible? Is it that possible? What this flag have to do with bank robbery? If it's not that Raf Wazwiki want to use this thing because Raf Wazwiki have came out and told the BBC in the Alan and Yoshi that he will not condemn Mazen Namdikanu again. No. Some people misquote him. He's trying to say that he can do whatever he wants to do. He said that he had been condemning him. He had been condemning everything about him. He will keep on condemning him. That only one statement that he just said, I will not that day. Why can't you, why did you people hold on that issue? Only one statement, just I will not, that only one. But in that interview, by BBC India and the Fulani, he had been saying, I've been condemning him. I've been doing all manners of evil. Number two, I've been doing this massacre. Number three, IPOB. Number four, this number five. Only one you just mentioned, I cannot condemn him for this one. People grab it. Some a fool, a fool, grab. No, I don't call them a fool, a fool. The problem is like these people, they are they just join the struggle. This is it. They join, join the struggle. They don't know what is happening. They don't know who is Raf was wicked. They don't know how compromised Raf was wicked. Ah, that is the reason why he will say something you believe in. That is the reason why we will see somebody. Maybe tomorrow we see somebody that uh, uh, maybe uh, you know he's living in America, or he's trying to decorate his. Uh, where he's making uh, his broadcast or something like that, people will jump up and follow him or follow her and saying that he's doing the right thing, he's making this just only once, just once. And after you follow the person tomorrow, you will be you are the one go see the, the talk say why this guy changed. It's not our fault, it's not our fault, you know why. We won't be afraid to come to the tomorrow. We won't be afraid to come to the tomorrow. That is why we see any place they push us to, we go there. And we are praying that Shuko Kikabiam will surely see us through on this issue that we are. Because we have suffered a lot. And we cannot continue suffering like this. Share the video. That is what you can do for me. Only to share the video. It doesn't matter. Share the video. So that those people that are doing their work, those people are in their working place right now, those people that don't have chance to watch this video, so that they can be able to see the video later. Wisdom. Gospel of redemption. Gospel of human rights, justice, 
and equity. That is what we preach. Ralph Waswiki is a criminal. Believe in me. Big time Iberima. Ralph Waswiki be Iberima. And there is nothing. Nothing. Because Ralph Waswiki is a man that I have knew. Not today. I know Ralph Waswiki through my soap. When he was stolen money from our people. Printing uh, plate number. Printing ID card, international passport, selling to our people, and up to date as I'm talking to you, my people, all those things that I have already printed, today they are not valid. They are not valid. The ID card is not valid. If the police officer or army officer in that zoo contraption see you with the ID card, they will kidnap you. They will throw you behind the bar today as i'm talking to you but people are there listening to rafa was wicked people will come and listen to rafa was wicked just a very one good comment that he just meant people will begin to job people will begin to praise him after you praise him you see what he said the next day reason and understand people just this is what people are supposed to know people that love you that have already loved you so now i want to tell my people that you see those people because my my real point today is about those people that went to bank and stole money these people they don't have anything doing with ipob these people has nothing to do with unknown gunmen these people has nothing to do with esn this incident that happened in Anambra have to do with the governors. It has to do with Rafu Wazwike and his cohorts. Rafu Wazwike know exactly what happened. That is why before this incident happened, I want you to reason. Rafu Wazwike came out and said that he will never condemn Mazen Namdekan. After four days, five days, this thing happened. And he came out and he said that we have upgraded ourselves by going to bank and begin to stole money or rob bank. Do you see how this game works? Do you people see it now? It's plain. It's plain. Only if you don't have that ability to reason, then you can never understand. Then you can never understand. Okay? But I know my people reason. I know we have a lot of people that have that sense of knowledge. I know a lot of them, they have sense of knowledge. It's only few, just a few elements in our land. They are not up to 10,000 people that are putting us and holding us down. Okay? So what I'm bringing to you, my people, is for them to understand what you have to ask yourself first. Ask yourself first. If that bank robbery was an ESN or IPOB. Why should they carry their flag? What that flag have to do with them? Is that flag, is it a protection? That is what I'm asking. Because if that flag is a protection, then they don't need to go with gun. They don't need to have gun. Or do you think that if they have that flag with that gun, do you think that these people can escape from that bank? Is it what you are telling me? Are they going to escape? Are they going to go free? The answer is no. Then why are they using the flag? Why are they using the flag? They, they just want to tarnish our image. They just want to tell the world that we have left what we are saying and now doing things that is different. Now they want to tag us as a criminal. The word they have been calling us from the day one. They want to make sure that all those things that they are calling us, they have proof to justify that this thing they are saying is true. That is what they are trying to do. Nothing else. And the Rafa was wicked is behind this. Particular, those people that went to bank and stole and robbed the bank, Rafa was wicked knows 
101% about those people. That is why he come out first to condemn. That is why he come out first and begin to put the allegation on ESN and IPOB. Mazen Namdekano. Tell me the reason why he, do, he does that. That is the reason why. That is the motive behind it. That is the plan behind it that this thing will happen. Rafa Wazrike will come out and begin to condemn. And the, after this thing happened, he come out straight away. He come out. And he said it. He said those things that they want him to say. Say that it's IPOB, there is no need. Just what you have to say. Call IPOB. Just tell them they have lived what they are doing. They are now stolen. They are now robbing bank. And I keep on asking my people, why should they go with the flag? The leader of indigenous people of Biafra Mazen Namdekano said, no doubt about it. I don't want you to doubt it, Thomas. Don't doubt it, Thomas. Stupid people, don't doubt it. Idiot, don't doubt it. We have 10,000 men on arm. If these 10,000 men want to rob a bank, why do they don't want to? Why did they want to use flag? Why should they use flag? That is my problem. My people, let us understand because a lot of people are carrying this news. Some people that are hey, IPOB, they went to bank and stole money. Yes, it's good. Some people, they are not, uh, it's not that they, they, they are feeling bad. Some people, they are, they are saying good, that it is good to stole. But, but listen, stolen of a bank is evil. Bank is the place that they will pay money. Any fund that you raise, will be paid through bank now do you understand we have gone beyond that mental not have ability to reason we have go beyond that we knows that if we want to receive fund in the world if the world want to help you then we help you through bank so if we close the bank how do you going to receive your fund don't you know that people in that contraption our people find themselves in that contraption the ipob family the the esn they are eating they are buying ammunition they are getting bullets how can you buy this to them do you think that you can carry do you know how much money you can use if let me say you are coming back from europe you are going to africa they only allowed you please share this video please only what you can do is to share this video this is a lecture this is something i want our people to begin to understand not that people will come to tell you one story you begin to accept it just you put it you weigh it you weigh the lies you weigh the two lies yes call it i'm lying just say that i'm lying but i want you to weigh my own lie and the way the lie of what ralph was wicked then you have to come in conclusion what is the just imagine this is how it is this is how it is don't let people come to deceive you if you bank if you think we have gone beyond we have gone beyond to go to bank to begin to rob bank to begin to destroy individual properties no when you destroy your fellow individual property you are not helping us you are not helping yourself if you come to my shop and vandalize my shop and destroy my shop and my shop is closed you can never buy anything from that shop again so whatever we are doing we are reasoning we are not do we are not that fool we are not full any ginger we that don't reason in a real sense only the word Fulani Alamaji reason is the conquest. Only the conquest. They don't reason beyond conquest. But we, we have that ability to reason beyond what is good and what is bad. And that is what we are preaching. And that is the reason why you have to share this video. We are preaching the good news. The news of freedom, redemption, walk with your people, make sense into your people. Let them understand that we are also learning people. We don't just come out and begin to talk without no proof, without no reasoning. You know, that's the way I used to do my video. 
when you see my uh, my 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 official page which is the beer from Chad i always come with the proof and very very soon i will still bring it back talk lesser and show you the proof then you will see it by yourself then you will see that we are not lying how can we go to bank and rob bank why we are expecting helps from international community how can international community help you when you begin to rob your bank this is all their game plan to stop ipob to stop the world to be helping them to stop those people that they have in their heart or they are seeing that what these people are doing is right they want them to stop helping you because now people will be saying they have been robbing bank why should you help them tomorrow they will tell you another another catastrophic have fallen upon nigeria they will target ipob because they are beginning to rob bank begin to ask yourself a question how can people that they are they, they any place they see them they must kill them any place they see their flag they must molest them they must arrest them they must kidnap them they must put them behind the bar how can they now fly their flag because they want to go and rob in a bank they can rob without bank with they can rob without flag i never had this thing before in my life no place in the world this thing have ever happened no place that people want to go and rob and they carry flag no place only in the zoo because they know what they are doing because they want to stop ipob waxing but they are doing what they are lying typical lying big time lying nothing they can do to stop ipob that is right the reason why raf was wicked came out and begin to condemn raf was wicked I want you also, I want to tell our people, for some of you that are just joining the struggle, because we know a lot of people, when they see something like this, they will say, yes, this person is right. Why should they rob with an IPOB flag? They want to destroy IPOB. You have come in conclusion that it's IPOB. And why can't you also think, how can these people want to rob and carry flag? Is it possible? If you want to go and kill a person with you, will you write your name and back of your clothes? Say, it's me, or I'm coming. Or uh, when you want to go and kill a person or kidnap a person. Have you seen people that want to go and kidnap a person and write their name? I am. I am a Ifan in Shukwode. Come, it's me. Have you ever seen something like that? So why this thing will happen? You do. Then you will see that it's a game. Then you will understand it's a plan. How can people want to go and rub back and carry a flag? Is it possible to show something? What did they want to show the world? What did they want to show Nigeria? They want to tell them that IPOB are criminals. That is why they want to show. And you see, they try to capture that flag. That is what they want to They want to capture that flag. That is exactly. The flag is what they want to capture. Nothing else. They don't want to hold the criminal. They never told us how many money they stolen. They never told us how, how they get there. They never tell us how who give that information. They just said they stolen the bank. What they want to capture is the flag. Those people that have already positioned their cameras, what they want to capture is the flag. Nothing else. Now they don't capture their face. They don't capture their height. They don't capture their movement. Only what they capture is the flag. <laughs> My people, let us reason. Let us understand. Let us just think as a woman. Then we will begin to understand the common letter. We will begin to understand the common letter. That these people don't mean good for you. If you try to walk with these people, you will die. They will kill you. And you will never know that they are the people behind the scene. Shooking you from the back. Biting you from the back. Stabbing you from the back. You will think that you are together with them. Ralph Waswicki is somebody that you can never trust. Don't trust Ralph Waswicki. Don't you ever. If you just join in this struggle and you just begin to know Ralph Waswicki, don't trust him. Don't listen to all his garbage and junk. 
after he's speaking. Don't, don't, because if you try it, you see where you will end your life. You cannot believe it. You cannot believe. It. We know these people. We know them. We know them. Now that we should come from before, have joined them. Remember during the time that Raf was Rika and we should before met, they met in Seme with Asari Dokubo, the pipeline guy that Ubu Afo, also Yamagife. They met in Kotoni. And Raf was Rika said that he will supply them. He will supply them. He will give them money. Remember that Rafa was Rike said that their money never finished. That he will fund them. Where is that money that Rafa? Rafa was Rike have tell his boys to go and carry Biafran flag and go and buckle a bank. To go and bonga a bank. To go and stole from bank. Rafa was Rike told them because Rafa was Rike want to fund them. So that they will counter ESN. That is what Rafa Wazulike is doing. If you people don't know, I'm beginning to tell you, go back to that video of Rafa Wazulike and you will hear what Rafa Wazulike said. He said he will fund them. We will fund them. We have money. We have money. We have men. We will fund them. And now you begin to ask yourself where the Rafa Wazulike will see the money. How many people are contributing to Rafa Wazulike? How many men do you think Ralph was we can have? How many must have been do you think that they are existing today? How many must have been? It's a question to you people. Nobody is must have been. Everybody are IPOB. They have left Ralph was weekend because they know that Ralph was weekend is a criminal. He's a thief. Who knows what you go? And we are we are we are. You will think that uh, you will just say that one he said. We, we know that there is something that is planning. We reason these people. We learn them as a book because we are in this struggle. When you are in this struggle and open your eyes well, you will begin to see a lot of things. You will see that you will never be quick to judge or quick to begin to say, love this person, dislike this person, follow this person. You will not quick to do so. Because we don't quit to do so. Because we ever know that it's planning. Planning. This is their uh, uh, FATO government. We never heard about any FATO. Since they, the day they declare FATO government up to date, we don't know what they're doing. We don't know their work. We don't know their job. Don't you see that these people are looking for something? Or don't you believe so? Or don't you ever imagine that these people are looking for something? You don't think so, or you don't know, till we tell you, then you begin to know. For those of you that are joining the struggle, no. For many of us that are into the struggle, we know, we know, we know. When we see people with a good heart, whenever they come, we know. Even though you are new, even though you are there for years, and uh, you see things that is happening, you come out to say it, we, we know that you're saying this from your heart. Not rough words, we call no cheat. Go back, you people should go back to that video. Don't say that I'm saying, don't say that I'm saying. Go back to that video that Ralph was Ricky recognized who should care for me for. That he's ready to work with who should care for me for. That he's ready to work with every agitators. He said it that he's ready to work all of, with all of them and he's ready to fund them. Raf was we can have said his boys to go and stole. And I will keep on saying this. There's a proof. Because all this one that he's saying that is IPOB. How can IPOB do we go and steal money? They will go to bank and they will carry a flag. And why can't they write IPOB on that flag then? Then we will know full time. That is the mistake they made. They have forgotten. They could have write it IPOB too. Believe in me. Believe them, they could have written IPOB too. It's a mistake they made. And believe in me, very, very soon, very, very soon, what you will see is one day they will tell you that they have already get one kidnapper. We have got where they are packing people, and when you will go there, what you will see in their in their in their in their war will be full time Biafra flag. They will use Biafra flag, both to mass and the kind of picture to decorate everything. Believe them, you will see it. Very, very soon you will see it. There is no two ways about it. Mark this my word today. Mark it and write it down. You will see it very, very soon. As time goes on, you will see it. 
they will cut a kidnapper and their chamber where they are keeping people what you will see there is Mazen Nam the kind of picture you will see Biafran flag you will see everything about Biafra and then people will still come out and say yes so yes so now I be OB they do ammo my people book with a reason <laughs> because that the reason Make the reason, my people. Make the make just the reason. This is things that I'm bringing to my people for them to understand and begin to reason as a human. Is this is this thing possible? Is this thing possible or game plan? You know, I have come in conclusion that this is a game plan. There is no two ways about it. They just want to tarnish the image of IPOB uh, because they know that it's only IPOB are the people that are agitating for Biafra to come. And IPOB is only people they were killing whenever they bring out their flag. They know that it's IPOB is only people that have that mind to come out and protest on the street for the restoration of Biafra. You see what Yoruba Obidua are doing today? We are the genesis. We are the genesis. We have, you know, a lot of people will be telling you or they will be asking me, which uh, protests have you been? I have been, you see, in Europe here, I have been mostly, mostly, mostly any place, we are there. We are there. As we are not in Biafra land, everything, every activity that is going in Europe, we are there. We are there. We are there. To the extent that I have been with my leader Mazin and Kano in the uh, European Parliament, United Nations, we have been in different places here in Germany, a lot of places. We have been there. But they keep on calling us terrorists. But we are there protesting. We are there flying our flag. We are there singing. Police are guiding us. They are there. They are seeing it. Okay? So, my people, just reason and understand what I said. Like I said, please try to share the video. This is only what you can do. Share the video. If the video that I'm making today makes sense to you, share the video. Share the video. So it will get to people. People that are working, people that are busy right now, when they're done with their businesses, when they're done with their work, they can also see the video and listen. Nothing but the truth. Nothing but the truth from the Chukuki Kadiyama. Nothing we don't lie. That is a true in every thing we say because we have thought about it we have risen over it you have you people know since when this thing happened this incident that i'm talking today this incident had been happened days 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 ago but i was contemplating i was reasoning i was thinking about this how can people just wake up they want to go and rob bank the caribbean from flag what does that be from flag mean what does that Biafran flag represent? What the Biafran flag have to do with them that want to go and rob the bank? Now imagine if it's true that they are ESN. What the flag has to do with them? If these people are really ESN, they will never carry flag. They will never. They will never carry flag. They will never. That is what I'm assuring you people. And we all know that. From this expose that I have given our people. Don't you even think that it's ESN they are doing well, even though they're stolen from back, they do well. No. Don't you ever think that is they are ESN or IP. Don't you ever go there because they are not. They are not. They can never do such a thing. Because you know why I'm saying this? They have that right. They have that power. Be to go or you let me say it now, it's like you want to say that unknown gunmen went to bank. Let me say maybe tomorrow they will still tell you unknown gunmen went to bank and stole money. And some people will believe it. How can unknown gunmen that can enter a police station, burn it down to the lower level? We now want to go and stole money and begin to carry flag. How can it be possible? We have our men in the bush doing the needful, chasing away Fulanese with different weapons.
and now they want to go to bank and robber, they will carry flag. Just imagine, just reason, reason now. Let's just reason now. Now, who they want to deceive now? Who they want to deceive? Rafu Wazurike is behind this 100% because he has told us that he wants to form Uchemefo. He want to form Fatu government and they are ready to pay to Fatu government whatever. That is why Rafu Wazurike have paid some of his uh, some of uh, stupid boys because Rafu Wazurike has no any boy. There is no boy. Rafu Wazurike has no anybody. There is no boy for Rafu Wazurike. But he managed to convince these people. He managed to pay them. That is why I'm still keep on telling my people, we never verify 100% that there is money taken away from the bank. We never. I don't know. They have to come out and tell us how many billion or how many million they have been stolen. If it's true, only what they want to capture is the flag. Why Rafa was Rike will come out, told you people that he will never condemn Mazen and the canon for some of you that are believing because you people don't know anything. You people don't know anything. Begin to join the struggle. Join IPOB. Listen to the, a lot of uh, agitators. Those that they know in and out of IPOB. Those that know what IPOB can do. Listen to them. Then you will understand what we are talking about. That Rafu was wicked is a criminal. Rafu was wicked. Bonucci. Bonucci Afroanya. Rafu was wicked is the highest criminal. Uzugo Zumina. I am telling you honestly speaking, my people. I know that you'll be saying, how am I sounding like this? I'm sounding because I'm telling my people the truth. Nothing but the truth. It's what you have to listen. Don't listen to all these buffoons. Don't listen to all these vagabonds, charlatans all over the world. A bad element. They are everywhere in our land. Don't listen to them. Because if you follow their words, then we deceive you. And you will die. Believe in me. They will deceive you and you will die because these people have you, they don't have you in heart. It's DSS, yes, my people. DSS government and Rafa was wicked. No, don't don't just call only DSS. Don't just call only DSS. Call both Rafa was wicked. Because for Rafa was wicked to come out immediately, this thing happened and begin to condemn. Say that you people have deviated. Now you are going to bank robbery. This is what Rafa was wicked said. Or you people have forgotten. Or you people don't see it. Or you people don't listen to the video of Ralph Wazwick. I don't have to be showing his video. Because this man is a senseless. He has no ability to reason. He never reason. He's a madman. Ralph Wazwick. I tell you people honestly speaking. If you believe in Ralph Wazwick, you are gone. If you think that this their fatal government is working, you are gone. Where are they today? Since they formed fatal government... They never form any security. Since they form Fatu government, they never uh, uh, form their cabinet. Since they form Fatu government, does it mean that the Fatu government don't have uh, rules and lawmakers? Since they form Fatu government, what is the activities of Fatu government? Is what I'm asking. No people, no cabinet, no no rule from left and right, right? No lawmakers. No people that are uh, elderly statement that helped and give some advices, or they just form their fatal government with the Rafa Wazurike and uh, uh, Asari Dokumbo and uh, Ucho from Efo, and the small one where they call George Onibe. People that we know the day they join the struggle. We know. We know. George Onibe was given the position because. Mazin Nambekano want everything to be equal. Mazin Nambekano want everybody to be in position. That is why some people will be saying that why is only the Igbo speaking Biafra are in this mission of self determination? The reason why is that mostly i'm not saying now i'm not saying now because i want people to quote me right because we have a lot of evil people now they will turn this thing that i'm saying now they will turn it upside down they will turn it upside down the reason why is that before we don't have a lot of people from coastal region that want to join biafra they don't want it they don't like it they think that uh, 
the, the way they say that Igbo are domineering. That is their mindset. But now a lot of them have come and understand that no, this cause is a right one. It's something that they will join. That is the reason why. And when George Onibe was taking this position, it's also because of that. Because the leader of indigenous people of Biafra, Mazen Namdekano, have seen that George Onibe, okay, is outspoken person, is determined to walk, then take this position. This is what we want. You can never give a position to somebody that don't need the position. You can never force a position to somebody that don't need it. It's like what you are saying now. You must in the canoe will go to any to our brother from coastal region and find any man there and, and tell you, come now, you are you are you are you are deputy leader. Deputy leader that is working with the full and Alamanjali. Can you just give a deputy or give any position a person that you don't know in and out, a person that you don't know his background, a person that you don't know where he's sleeping, where he's coming and where he's going? You will give him a leadership. Tomorrow they will sell us. They will just come. Now so we will be floating on top of uh, or the air. We'll be floating. They will just come and cut all of us off. That is the reason why the leadership of IPOB is taking their time and watching very careful who is determined, who is who have Biafra in his heart that we never compromise, that we never have a double thought to deviate. Or move away from what we are talking. We we'll move away from reality because Biafra is reality. You don't know about that. Okay, my people. That is the reason why. But today we have a lot of our brother from coastal region. They are doing absolutely well. I have a lot of them. They have invited Mazen Nam de Kano to their program. Hey, coastal region. They have invited Mazen Namkan to their program. And the Mazen Namkan did what? He responded. He responded. He responded to them. He came to their program. They discussed as people that are reasoning, as people that know what they want, as people that know that we are one people. They just want to divide us and rule us. Mazen Namkan is not that kind of, uh, can I use a stingy? Any place you call him, he will answer you. He will respond to you. If you are ready to walk, if you are ready to restore Biafra with him, he will answer you. If you want position, he will give you. But you have to be sincere. Not to sell our people. Not to be deviated from the reality. Like what Oraka did. We, a lot of people give Oraka money. A, a lot of people supported Oraka. They are not doing this because uh, uh, this, they are doing it out of out of out of love. That hey, my brother from Costani John is bringing is coming up to to work with us. But tomorrow, what happened? Oraka deviated because you know why. He began to ask, "Let us see the fund. How much money do you have? Give us an account." A man that never contributed nothing. He never contributed nothing. To the restoration of Biafra, you join, and you fast enough to go and take oath, and now you come begin to ask silly questions that we should do this, we should give you, we I should come because you just come in one in one month, they should show you everything about Biafra. Who knows who you are? Who know your motive? Who know what you have in your mind? And if they open everything, that is how, it, if like Oraka now has everything, all the whole proof or everything that you need to know, tomorrow now, he is the one that will be going to DSS and tell, hey, here, I know their weak point. Here, follow here, follow here. Biafra is not a business. And a lot of people think that Biafra is a business. That is the problem. And a lot of people think, or they thought you have to pay them before they will work for Biafra. I saw a brother, I don't know really, I think he don't know who I am. I'm trying to, I sent him a, a message on my WhatsApp. I tried to tell him to follow my new page, which is Lovers of Freedom in, in Diaspora, which is the page I'm using now. Please, if you never join this page, try to follow this page, like this page, share this page to your friends. It's me, the Biafran child, watching again.
your royal servant, a man that you know quite right, Mazu Kichuku, is me. I never change. They just blocked my former page, which is where people know me most. I have saw a lot of people also try to write me back to ask, am I the real? Is it real? I told them, yes, it's real. I know that some people are using my pictures. I have got a lot of people use my pictures in their profile, but I'm trying to tell them it's not a bad thing. People that use my picture in their profile, they love what I'm doing. But this one is real. It's me. So follow the page. Share the page to your friends. So I tried to tell this fellow to share my page to his friend. He was trying to tell me his page, the one that I sent to him before, that, that, that uh, he have grown so well, that I have to pay her him money before he will begin to share the page. I told him, you don't know me. You don't know me. You think that you are talking to somebody else. You are talking to the beer French. I don't want you I don't pay nobody because nobody pays me. I do what I do for free. I'm a volunteer. I've been paying my dues up to date. So, why should I pay you for you to work for Biafra? Why should I pay you? Okay, I want to pay you for you to share my page to people. Is it what you think? Have you seen my page? I'm using advertisement on my page. Am I using advertisement on this page? I can't. Okay? So, my people, that is what I'm saying to my people. That is what I'm bringing to my people. Nigeria is a zoo. That is the kind of mentality they have been plotted into the mind of our people. That whatever you have to do, you have to pay them. That is the reason why we are fighting for Biafra to come. So that everybody will have a work. Everybody will have a job. Nobody will begin to ask you, Akazu. Akazu is very, very bad. Akazu is something that destroying a land. Akazu is what makes Nigeria to be where they are today. Akazu is very, very bad. Let our people be sincere and be truthful and do things according to the way it's supposed to be. That will be a rejoice. That will be free. Our land, Biafra, is a land of milk and honey. If we can restore Biafra, Akazu will reduce. Yes, my people, we don't lie. We don't lie. I say everything true because I've been a person that have traveled a lot. I have traveled a lot. No joke. No, no doubt about it. No doubt about it. No doubt about it. I have been in a lot of countries and I have learned a lot. Okay, so why I say I've traveled a lot and I have learned a lot is because some people are thinking that if Biafra come today, there will be no corruption. <laughs> Even though in Germany we are living, there is a corruption. Even though in America, there is a corruption. But the corruption in Nigeria or in Africa in general is a corruption that you can see you can you can smell it you can smell it you know when you are cooking a very good soup a very dish when person pass your house you must know that you are cooking this is the kind of corruption in nigeria you can feel it you can you you know feeling it taste it that is the kind of corruption it's open you see a man giving money to a police officer with people are in the car. You will see a police senior officer with starting one, 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 one. His, his just junior officer is collecting bribe. And the man see it, he walk away. That is the kind of corruption in Nigeria. That is a corruption everywhere. That is a corruption that you can back it with documents. You will back it with document. That will be a proof. But it's a corruption. It's a corruption. You back it with a paper. You back it with document. That is the kind of corruption that go on in Europe. And because you can back it with a document, there, is, there are not many to do it. They don't have many of them. Because you have to work hard. And that corruption is not a corruption that you just stole with that no you must do something and use something now to back it up when they tell you to build a road the road will be built and be standard 
not that you will just grind a road you put quota after one month it will every rain will take it no these people will build a standard road water light then top their own money then you don't have any mouth to ask them where is our money because who, before you ask you know that you have a steady light so how do you want to ask for that corruption you want to ask a man that have built a water for you people good water to drink 24 hours water is running in every house how do you want to see his corruption I followed a lot of people here in Facebook I will share it to them thank you my brother uh, Biafran citizen thank you my brother try to share the video to 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 your friends also right on top of your video that is the Biafran child and watch neck that is my new page lovers of freedom in diaspora I changed the name because <laughs> I don't know maybe if I use my former name it will be very easy for them to attack it and that is exactly what is happening to the leader of indigenous people of Biafra, Mazen Namde Karano. I cannot blame him. He's a leader. He don't need to change his name. He don't need to use any name because he is the leader. But we, the followers, we can use other names because we know what the Facebook is. Let all them be calling us that we are you having a 20 pages. But leader is leader. That is why today facebook have opened the page of mazen nambe but they cannot broadcast there it's cotton now you, you, you do you know that i caught mazen nambe can tell only four people was in his page listening a whole leader of indigenous people of behalf why other people that are streaming mazen nambe can they have almost four thousand viewers at the same time some have almost two thousand at the same time some have one thousand something at the same time the lowest the lowest where the mazen Namkan is doing broke the lowest and that's lowest you see is because people never knew them they just start the the they are streaming new lowest will be 400 lowest but the real man in his page is having only four people viewers four viewers can you imagine can you imagine what the facebook are doing we are in the media war. Thank you, my people, for listening. Thank you, Shinere. Shinere, thank you. DC Young, thank you, my people. Why I'm saying this today is for our people to understand and know that we are not lying. How we keep on coming, like I tell my people. If they block this one, I will still use the other name because they have already recognized this okay if you block this one I will open another one with different name let them begin to call us uh, Facebook warrior but one thing that you will know that is me whenever I come at my broadcast I will call my name I am the beer French I don't watch naked mass I will call my name but the name of the page will be changed because if I keep on using the same page, the same name, maybe if I come out, nobody can ever see me at all. Nobody will ever see me at all. So that is the reason why I have to change the name. I don't care what people said. That is why I keep on telling people, what I have today now is only one page again. But I will try again to create another page, should in case. Because we are in media war. Anything can happen. We don't own this Facebook. They have right over us. But the right we have is that we are saying the truth. That's only the right we have. But they have right over every activity you are doing on Facebook. They can block you. They can stop you. They can mute your, your, your video. They can say whatever they want to do. And that is Yoruba people. Yoruba media. Yoruba media. Yoruba media, I don't have anything to do with them today. The day that I will still come back for Yoruba Media, like I always tell my people, Yoruba Media is the number one problem of the zoo. They are liars. They are evil. They are Lucifer themselves. They don't want to tell the international community what is happening. Yoruba are evil. Media. Yoruba Media, they are evil. Kota Media. So my people, I don't want to go there. That is issue for another day. 
why I'm here is because of the people that went to bank and stole money. They are not IPOB. They are not ESM. They are not unknown gunmen. This is a DSS connived. No, no, not connived. DSS cannot connive. This is Owazureke connived with DSS. I do show car for me. I will answer them any place they call me because that is a proof. The proof is that why when this thing happened, Raf was really quick to judge and come out and begin to say that we have live what we are doing now, we have turned to criminal. Because he want to use this false allegation to sell out to people so that people will begin to think otherwise and say, yes, this thing that Rafa Wazuke is saying, that is a truth on it. That is why he quick run faster than his shadow to come and give this false allegation, propagate this evil to people, cook this lie to people, to begin to feed people. So that people will say, yes, that is a truth. Where are they getting the money they are using to buy ammunition? Where are they getting the money they are using to feed? Where are they getting the money they use to buy clothes? This is the, the, the kind of mindset Ralph was really want to put in the mindset of the people that find themselves in that contraption. Because Nigeria is a zoo. They can believe everything. Is it not in Nigeria that monkeys swallow money? Nigeria python swallow money. And people believe it. People believe it. People believe it. If you ask them, they will tell you, say, eh, Juju Day now. As far as Juju Day, snakes swallow money. And a lot of people buy that idea. And they, they, they feed them with that junk. And they believe it. That is also the same junk that Fulani and have planted into Raf Wazulike mines and score to begin now to begin to deceive our people and be feeding them with lies. Lies. And our people, because we have a lot of bad element there, they are believing it. In joining with uh, all the whole Igbo governors, Igbo governors, let me put them, Igbo governors, because they are not Eastern region, they are Igbo governors. It's our coastal region and hinterland Biafra, we are all Eastern region. The hinterland, they are governors, let me put it that way. I'm sorry, my people, let me put it in hinterland Biafra. They connive together, plus Raf was Rike, or Raf was Rike connive with them, plus DSS. That is the way it's supposed to go. Raf was Rike connived, plus DSS. They went back to stole money because they want to come to fight against ESN. And I have saw a publication, I will verify it, maybe it's 100%. The World Igbo Organization, they said that they. They refuse the 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 all this their Ebube Ebube pussy as our leader used to call them Ebube pussy Ebube busu Ebube busu. They say they don't they they are not in support. Ebo World Congress. They say they are not in support that they should go and join ESN and support all that support they want to do, all that new. Or on or, or all these their new invisible ghost workers of Ebube Busu that they should use it and join ESN and do the need for. They don't need to create their own. They don't need guys people already on the ground working. Why can't you support them? And I hope that that publication I saw was real. Uh, I cannot doubt it because they have already come before. They have already support ESN. They have already. Yes, it's authentic. Thank you, my brother. So the 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 the, the, the publication is authentic, uh, and uh, that to show you that these people that are living in America, our leader Mazin Namkano told us before, they will fund ESN. They will fund them, and they are doing the right thing. And I pray for you all. You people should continue. You people should continue. We that are living in Europe, you know that we don't have enough, but we are doing our best. 
we are doing our best we that are living in europe we are trying our best but we know that the people in america are the real people they they we have millionaires billionaires in america not like europe not like europe europe i don't think that you can find a billionaire a black billionaire because they can never give you that chance in germany here unless you're a footballer unless you're a sportman if you think that you can do a business to become a billionaire is very very real it's very very real in europe maybe you can find that chance maybe little in england little maybe two percent or one percent but in america we have them in quantum they have them in quantum they have that they have that space they give them that free hand because our people have been there for years our people have been in america for years they have established in america for years because in america after slave trade they give them chance to build themselves not like europe they push our people into water that is the reason why my people are we you know i will be descending i will be descending and i thank god that our people have listened to this uh, our people have listened to this program today i thank you all for listening i want you koki kabiyama to bless every one of you and i want you also to share the video please if you never share it try to share it please i'm begging you all please try to share the video please when you share the video people will will see the video and people will listen to the video after they're done with their work after they're done with what they're doing so that they will know that we are not lying so that they will know that uh, we i have come here to clear the air to tell people some of things they don't know to also put some reasoning to our people also uh, you know try to let them reason other way around not only focusing in one way or we have to be believing in concocting stories or lies that person like Rafa was wiki is doing today in our land you know and it shall never be well with all of them it can never be well with them they will never see good in the land of Biafra that is why you see they are doing all their best they don't want Biafra to come till all of them will die you know because we know that all of us we can never live on this earth forever one day we will die and most of them they are doing this if you look at their age they have gone older they don't care they have sworn the oath that nigeria must be one after they die they can people may continue but we are praying to chukokikabi and matamono that most of them will be alive and biafra will become biafra will come most of them will be alive so that they will see the handwork of Tukuki Kabiyama in our life as we have come to restore Biafra. I thank you all, great people, great Biafras, freedom fighters, lovers of freedom, people with goodwill, people that are so much love. I have you people always in my heart. And I'm telling you, my people, there's no how I will stop what I'm doing because it's working. We are working and it's working is getting to people the message is getting to them and i thank you my people for listening today i want to give a little bit prayer to those that are protecting our land and guiding our forests protecting the crops of our mother and our father against raping and kidnapping against the fulani janja weedism from our land they are coming from saint gambia i want to use this opportunity to pray to our men's heroes gallant men and women of esn they are in our bushes doing the needful may shuko kikabiam and protect them guide them all the day of their life they are going and coming back because these people they are not sleeping that is why shuko kikabiam will be protecting them giving them that strength to overcome all the evil overcome all the danger we that are running and coming to our land we must chase them away anywhere they wherever they came from may god protect them you see i also want to pray for unknown gunmen we heard what they do yesterday in headquarters they have done it again and i pray for them they will keep on doing so 
they will keep on walking assiduously and i have prayed for them and i also ask them if they can also extend this little bit to our governors those their children those their relatives anyone that you may consign in their family so that they will understand that if and they know it and very very soon it will get to them i also want to pray for our lady mazi namdi kano or hamadike one of biafra namdi okukano which will cook gabia magoziegi chebegu boa wume nye gonso nso nso kafa gonada ugo obona akbora afa ye honada bo nso nso but it's too cool to them have ordained you tell you to pick up and carry the struggle on your head and we are following you i also want to use this opportunity to pray for the biafras in general every biafra everyone everyone as far as you are ipob indigenous person of biafra i pray for you all i pray for you all that you cookie kabiyama will guide you and protect you and now let me pray for the family members family members ipob family members god be zero ndia eje eje mba ndi mere dat na ihe ha na ekwu today na alo olu na de mbi ipob family member ndi mere na agitation na aye na aga na iru family member ndi mere dat na okwu ha na ekwu na elu onu obu na nti ipob family member ndi mere dat na ndi josu na abata abata nso nsa we na ajoin ni ifa na eme ha bu ipob family member because if they are not you know forming forming this ipob we are not going to be where we are today and i pray for them also the agitators i will be becoming time very soon i will be also be back i want to call it a day and i said that my guide and protect every one of us as we just listen to this broadcast let it enter into our head let us make sense out of what we have already i have already discussed with my people let us make sense out of it let us simplify it let us break it down into pieces and begin to understand which one is lie which one is the true that is why i'm here to make it easy for people to understand the simply very small lie they are doing i will be descending i call it a day Thank you, my people. Try to share the video. That is what you can do. Share the video. Oh, hey, Biafra. Oh, hey, Biafra. Oh, hey, Biafra. IPOB Mazin Namdekano. Mazin Namdekano. Mazin Namde Okukano. He say. He say. He say.